Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a uh, cook with me and it's pork roast with bow ties and a few other things so I hope you enjoy. Piece of pork roast cut with scissors put into here and then cooked in this thing. Then added two bow ties with whole kernel corn, two of those, and then some tomato soup, lightly, um, lightly watered down. So let's get it going. Cut into little chunks. And then there is a bit of olive oil in there. Then I kind of spread it around the pan. And then we're going to add just a little bit of dashes of garlic powder as we're putting it in here. So we've already put one little sprinkling in there. I'm trying to set this to where you guys can see it. Okay, so we're gonna finish cutting up this pork and we'll show you when we go to the next step. Okay, so now it is all cut up into little cubes with seasoning on it. So now we're gonna take it, you gonna follow me with it? We're gonna put it over here. Sorry about the lighting, but our light burned out. But we're gonna put it in this conventional oven which is set for 350 <coughs> you can't see that but it's right here and you can see it's kind of lighting up a little bit which is awesome so we're just going to take and open this up slide that in there and close it and now we'll wait about 15 minutes or so and check that again be back then Okay, so it's been um, cooking for about 15-20 minutes, so we're going to give it a check. Ooh, it's looking good. I'm going to pull it out, give it a stir. Yes, I'm using a clean sock. Look at that. I wonder if I should take it to the light so you guys can see it a bit better. Let's do that. Okay, so go over here in the light so you guys can see it a bit better. Okay, so there's some that are cooked, some that are not, so we're just going to give it a good stir and put it back in for another 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, I can't stir very well with oh, one hand. <laughs> bad. No, baby. We need to probably take and boil some water mm -hmm. in a coffee pot okay. for the pasta. Get your noggin back. What the heck? It's still recording. Okay. okay, so it's going back in again. 
the same temperature for another 15 minutes so we'll see what it looks like by then hopefully we'll have that going so it's cooking up and oh. okay so in order to yeah. boil our um our noodles what we're doing is we are taking a coffee pot and we ran the water through it we're gonna put it in the bowl and then put it right over here okay oh. and then we're gonna just open the box don't mind the mess over here <laughs> There's the box getting open. And just dump it in. Grab some olive oil. And then just dump some of that in there. Okay. Take our fork from earlier. We're not going to be able to run the microwave in that at the same time. We're just going to set it in the microwave. Oh, okay. Because the water should be hot enough yeah. to cook the pasta. Because we don't have a stove, so this is how we are doing it. So if you grab that, stick it in there, and then just shut that. And we're going to open this up. These might be pretty close to done. Pull it out. Do you want to go over by the desk? Yeah, because I stuck in what I was in that. I didn't get the sauce off. Okay, oh, there's grease on top. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to go over here by the light so you guys can see it. Oh, it smells delish. Mmm, look at that. Then you just do like she's doing, what she's doing is she's sticking the fork in and giving it a twist to kind of break up the meat just a bit. And it looks like it's almost done. It does. Do you think maybe a few more minutes? At least. <laughs> Don't touch it, it's going to be hot. Okay. So as she was going through breaking it up she had a bunch stuck on the fork which we just had to pry off basically do you want the mm -hmm. the I have it I think it's not that hot it is but it's not bugging me so it's not burning you okay I think that's actually almost done maybe a couple more minutes yeah I will dump you in the noggin kitty Okay, so I'm a wuss. I've got to have something to carry it with. So, we're going to take this, put it back in here, and let it go for just a bit longer. Okay, so now we're going to pull the pasta out of the microwave. Give it a little stir and see if it's done. Not quite. I think we ought to put a little butter in it before we put everything else in it. We could do that when we're ready yeah. to put the rest of it in. Because that's when Aunt Wanda does. Is it starting to? Can you feel the... It's starting to. Okay. Oh. Crunchy? A little bit. Okay, so maybe another 10? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll put it for another 10 minutes. I'll bet the meat's done. But we did... Turn off the toaster oven. Well, when we get it so, all combined, we'll put it in the microwave for a little bit. So Got there's that. There's that. Well, uh, okay, so it went off again. It's this end. So we're going to pull this out. Look at that steam. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. You can't see it on the uh, video. That kind of right there. We'll give it a stir. That feels much better. Much better? <laughs> I don't want two. 
I seen it was tearing. Just a, about five, six minutes. Well, what we could do is it'll kind of cook itself. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to drain this off. Okay. We'll drain the grease off of the pork. Okay. And then we'll put the corn and at least one of these in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what it looks like from there. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so she's got the pork in there. Mm. Now she's pouring the the pasta in there, which is just kind of running right over the pork, which is okay, which is great. And I will open the cans. Okay, well, I open the cans. Go ahead and put that back in the bowl. There you go. Okay. Okay, so now I'm adding the corn. And I think we're going to stop at one just to see what it looks like. Okay. And we will add... We're going to use handy dandy little scissors <laughs> to cut the butter. Just because we're redneck like that. <laughs> now it's two tablespoons of butter. And then just kind of give this a toss. Throw the corn everywhere while I'm at it. Look at that. Oh, God. It, um, you may not even need it's, that. It's not really even colorful. Mm -mm. But you know what? You may not even need a tomato soup. Well, that's going to give the flavor. True. So, I'm going to stick this in for... Just a quick second. While I'm doing that, I'm going to open the tomato soup. Okay, so, as you can see, there's still 29 seconds on the microwave. Don't mind the mess. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but right now we have no water in our trailer because our water lines froze. It is too cold outside. It's not even the water lines in the house. It's the water lines coming to the house. Yeah. Because the water lines in our house is the water lines that are good for negative 80 I believe and so it hasn't gotten that cold okay now I'm just gonna add the tomato soup maybe okay so now I'm just going to pour some water in here, which anybody who's had tomato soup knows that it's one can of water or milk, or milk. to one can of, soup. of the soup. <laughs> and then I'm just going to stir it. I'm going to add a few more seasonings, being as we kind of rinse the pork. But the reason we rinse the pork is because pork's really greasy. Yes, it is. And we've all got high cholesterol. So we're trying to cut back on that. Yes, I know butter has cholesterol. But there's not enough in here for the amount of food versus the amount that we eat. That looks good, sissy. Look at that. Almost looks good enough to chow on right now. <laughs> Now if I had some grated cheese. Oh God, shut up. Oh. <laughs> put some grated cheese over there. I said just to get back in the microwave for a little bit. Okay, there's some garlic powder right here. Give a dash of that. And give me a second. That's garlic powder too, hon. We're going to pretend this is onion. <laughs> okay. Give that a quick little toss about. And that looks delicious. Yes, it does. So should we take it over to the light? Oh, they can actually somewhat see it. Come over here. There's supper. Pork, goulash, 
with bow tie pasta and pork bits. Cat and Mary's con concoction. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you don't have much food, you make supper. Ain't that the truth. Now we're just going to put it in there until it's supper. Sweet, sweet. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that cook with me. Um, I'm sorry, yes, this is a different day, just like the beginning, because I forgot to introduce it, and then I forgot to end it. So, I hope you enjoy, and yeah, we'll talk to you later. Make sure you thumbs up this video, make sure you subscribe below, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!